Oh my god. Ugh. I only have one glass of wine too. <sighs> hey guys, so I just wanted to let you know why I titled this series Reclaim the Throne. Um, the biggest thing is most of you might be aware of the fact that I call myself Queen Ariana. And that all stemmed a while ago um, when I was younger. I've always believed in working for my own stuff. I don't have like that annoying feminist complex. I think that everyone's equal, but I've just always grown up thinking like I could do whatever, male or female, it didn't matter. I could do whatever I wanted and I would do it all on my own and be independent. And I've always taken pride in that. And then I had this like really annoying and psychotic ex-boyfriend and he used to insult me all the time. And I was like at 16 at the time and he was like, you don't work for anything and I was working. And I was paying for like my gas every week in my car, but he did just always say that I didn't work for anything because he was like 20 and was a loser. That's not even worth talking about. But I hated when people called me princess because I always thought it was like condescending. So eventually I was like, fuck you, I'm not a fucking princess, I'm a fucking queen. I'm Queen Ariana, duh. Like, hello. So that's where the whole thing comes from. It's like an empowerment thing. I always tell everyone you can be anything you want in this world. And I want to be a queen, and I am a queen, so that's that. So I hope you guys enjoy the series, because the queen is coming back on her throne. probably remember uh, from my older videos that I used to have a white Honda Civic and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen me talking about what happened to that car in Nick's videos but for those of you who don't know I'm just gonna recap it quickly over the summer it got totaled I was working and some girl smashed into it and slipped me into another car so it ended up working out in my favor because now I have this BMW that I'm in love with and I'm really proud of myself for getting but yeah because I can already see the comments flooding in out oh, why'd you get the BMW like I'm just clarifying that for you guys and you should always be proud of what you own I am so as you guys can clearly see gym attire is not the sexiest thing in the world but I've always been like this you can ask Nick or anyone that really knows me the gym is not a fashion show to me I don't care how I look I go in there to work out I get everything I need to get done, and then I leave. I don't sit around, I don't pose in, well I pose in the mirror sometimes. But yeah, I just wear what I feel comfortable in, because I don't really care what I look like, I just wanna work out. So, yep, I'm going with the purple cotton shorts today and the shirt that is like way too short on me. But we're good. So I'm also at Ocean State today, and I don't go to this gym anymore. Uh, the gym that I go to now, I go with my family. So we're on like a family plan, so it's cheaper. But I don't think I can film there, so we're gonna go to Ocean State today and get some filming in, because it would be a waste if I didn't show you guys what I was working out. five minute pull down, I think that's really important. So I'll do this, and then I'll head on into the back, get some accessory stuff done. This is your last one time next to me. She wasn't as sweaty as me, so I feel like I sweat like a lot, but she was sweaty. And she didn't wipe down her machine, I wanted to punch her in the face. That's gross. Like, especially if you're sweaty, like, I don't yeah, like, who the hell do you think you are? You wiped down your friggin' machine. <laughs> I don't care if you're the president of the United States, that's just rude. This is 
also why I wear baggy clothes, because who the hell wants to sweat? Now their clothes cling to them. Not me. Not gonna lie, I was slightly agitated at first because I'm a creature of habit and that Stairmaster is completely different than the one that I have at my gym. So I couldn't fully do the workout that I normally do. At my gym I have this, it's like a setting on the Stairmaster that I use for interval training and I love it. And then I do those things that you guys saw uh, where I like hang on then I jump up and squat. Um, but it was hard to do that here because of the way the handles are, they slide. And if it's a different material I guess at the Stairmaster at my gym. But I got the workout done, clearly. I did something, because I'm sweaty. So now, I'm gonna do my accessory stuff. I always stretch. Some of you might remember, for those of you who don't remember, actually, two years ago, a week from today, on Columbus Day, I fractured my tailbone. So, I have to be careful all the time, so I always make sure I st stretch really good. I try to foam roll when I can. I gotta get better at that, and it has to get me on that. So yeah, get started on stretching, then I'll move on to everything else. I think I need a new pillow. My neck feels slightly off. Maybe I should go to the chiropractor. It usually takes me like a few minutes to get everything set up. Cause I do this whole little circuit thing. I always do this. I love the way my body has looked. I feel great personally right now. Probably, I feel like one of the best, I feel like probably one of the best times I ever have in my entire life and I can't make a sentence today. But um, yeah, I like this little circuit that I do. I came up with it myself one day when I had like extra time to kill at the gym because I was waiting for my mom. So. It's filming. It's actually recording. Technically the word filming means you're using film and this uses digital. All right, Mr. Smartass. So for my circuit, I'll do dumbbell squats and ab exercise. Then I go right into kettlebell swings and ab exercise. And then I do these little like things. I don't even know what the hell they're called on the medicine ball. Um, it's good for like your inner thighs and everything else on your legs. Then I do an ab workout and then I do that three or four times. No rest time because I'm a savage. So let's get to it. I did four sets today because I couldn't really get a lot of um, jump squats on the Stairmaster. And one of the biggest problem areas for me has always been my thighs and my butt. That's where I'm prone to gaining weight. Thanks, Mom. It's that Portuguese body in us. Um, so that's what I like to focus on. Um, I don't really train arms. When I do my martial arts training, I do. I think the Stairmaster, I know this probably sounds like crazy, but I think the Stairmaster helps because of the way I grab on sometimes. But arms, once again, thanks to my mom, I guess my dad too, respond very quickly on me, so I don't want to overtrain them. I do back sometimes, obviously abs, but I really just try to focus on my thighs, my butt, legs, everything. Um, I'm getting calves now. Never really had calves before. I never really focused on it, but it's nice having them, I will say. Uh, I'm gonna clean all this up, because I'm wicked courteous. And then I will be done with my workout for today. Oh. I'm sorry. Good workout. Good workout. That uh, was like Tuesday. Right? Major key. Every time after the gym. So it's currently 11.20ish, I wanna say. 
I just got done watching Monday Night Raw and shout out to Sasha Banks, my favorite female wrestler aside from Nikki Bella because she just became the new Raw Women's Champion and for those of you who follow wrestling and follow me know how much of a big, big of a deal that is and how big of a deal it is to me because I love her so much. So that made my day even better. Nick's actually making me dinner right now, so I would say that I had a pretty good day today. I really enjoyed filming. I'm really excited to keep making videos. I just wanted to go over why I stopped making them quickly. The biggest thing for me was after I wasn't able to compete, uh, I got kind of in like a slump. I felt like my content wasn't as good, and then I started doing the martial arts training with my father, and at the time, I didn't think that the content that I could record would be worth it because the biggest thing for me is I want to put out quality. So I just didn't want to put out a video just to have a video. And I wanted it to be on my own terms. I didn't want to feel like I was just doing something just to do it. I don't like being told what to do. I mean, like, I listen to authority, but I don't always... Uh, I listen, like, if it was for wrestling, then that'd be different, but... I don't know. I'm a complicated person. But that's besides the point. So that's why I stopped making my videos and I only uploaded when I felt it was right and I felt like I was excited to share something with you guys because I've never stopped caring and I've always, like all of you who have supported me throughout this entire journey that I've been on, even though it's it was short lived for a little bit and then like all of you just constantly like asking me when are you going to make videos again, that means so much to me. I don't think you guys will ever know how much that means to me. But the good news is I'm back and I will be uploading probably, I want to say two to three times a week and I'll let you guys into my life more now. And in another video, I'll go over what happened with the bikini competition because I feel like that left a lot of unanswered questions. And I'll also talk more about wrestling and where I am right now with wrestling. But in the meantime, I'm hungry and I'm gonna go eat steak and potatoes and thank you guys so much for watching this video and joining me on my first day back on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll always reply to, reply to your comments. I'm gonna learn how to speak in the next video properly, I promise to. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.